fast. My cat is going crazy. Oh, I got both the cats in here. They're freaking out, y'all. What's up, guys? Alright, yeah, let's go collect and see what everybody's um quest rewards are. Let's see, where do we go? Freldon, or was it the other side? I think it's this side. Yeah. Alright, uh, alliances. Observing the deadlock. Despite their intent to craft a political entity to oppose us, these noble families are too embroiled in their own conflicts to even acknowledge us. We have acquired some additional trading partners who are tired of waiting for the winner to emerge. Alright, so we get some gold. Okay. Huh. That's always good. And we have Identify Venatory Agent. I don't know if I did this correct, but I sent Liliana after him. Target was eliminated and expected. All other targets went into hiding. Duke Theus did not locate our operators during his search. Information Information the Duke found on the corpse revealed the smuggler's venatory involvement. Duke Theus had cut off trade with the Tevinter Imperium and is thoroughly investigating his city. Hunterfell is no longer subject to D Okay. Oh. Oh, we got more. Oh no, you know, we didn't send we sent the bulls after this guy. That's who it was. Him and the chargers. Per his request, Operative Iron Bull were received for intelligence. Oh, that's awesome! Okay. I'm glad we sent them because, you know, they're spy hunters. The message I sent? Yes, thank you. What, what, what was the message, guys? Alright, Dorian's request. Dorian's leads were effective. The Inquisition found several locations where these Venatori could be hiding. Advanced camps. Purpose unknown. If you wish to deal with these mages, I'm certain Dorian would be pleased. I'll mark the locations on the map should you pass by them on your travels. Alright, so Dorian is in our group now, so if we come across the Venatori, that's his quest, I think. We still gotta do his thing. So his dad sent Dorian a note through the Chantry, and Lady J... I can't remember her name. One of the uh, Chantry ladies in our team told us. And now, we're going to go have to tell Dorian that his family is looking for him. I don't know if he's going to like it or not. So we'll see. Alright, let's see what we got. Only Josephine can do it. Game on. Inquisitor. The best of the best have been summoned. Training with these specialists will ensure the Inquisitor's abilities remain at their height. Sweet. Sweet. Alright, um, let's set some shit off here. What do we want to do? Let's do this. This is Varric's quest. First off, you play a mean hand of Wicked Grace. Second, you lead the dug up for- oh my gosh. Okay, something about his book. This is where it gets weird. The courier is a magistrate. Lord Warner Curring. Okay. Well, let's send Liliana after it. She's a, you know, she's kind of ninja, so she can figure that one out. Alright, and we have two other quests to send. You know what? We need stuff. Let's do these real quick. Inquisitor. Yeah, we need, uh, Inger. We don't have anything. I've only been to these two places. Inquisitor. Alright, um, let's pick. I think I want to go... Hmm, where do we want to go? Exalted Plains? You know what? Let's go to the Exalted Plains. dun dun dun, -dun. Go. Forces. We can march soldiers into the Exalted Plains and... Oh, whoa. Okay, let's go. We have established an outpost of the Exalted Plains. Lead Harding. Alright. Game on. Lead us. I wonder who I want for this. I definitely want Dorian. I need Cass for the shield sword action. And man, Cole, I haven't decked you out yet. So we will bring... Shit. Bring Sarah. I bet Sarah... Wait, where's Sarah? Yeah, we'll bring Sarah. See how it goes. I might need more... Uh, uh... Like up front whoop assness, but let's see what happens, guys. Yeah, I got Sarah with the bow right now. I was gonna put her with daggers, but I kind of messed up. The exalted planes. Oh shit! 
What is this? They look like there's fortifications here, too. Ugh, it looks like everything's dead, also. I wonder if this is gonna be, like, a ghost place, or, like, a, like, a, just rogues walking around, like, humans. Maybe some canary. Let's, let's bust out with a canary, man. And I totally forgot to make another cup of coffee. Well, crap. Inquisitor, welcome to the Exalted Plains. Thanks. A place with a long and bloody history. Oh, Even great. now, the region is volatile. This was a front in the Civil War. Now there's rebels called the Freemen of the Dales, recently emerged and adding to the chaos. <laughs> Must we dwell on such gloomy things? I don't want to dwell, but look, it must have been so beautiful. Yeah. Maybe even romantic. Bloody history? What history were you talking about? After the fall of Halam Sharal, what remained of the Elven army met the forces of the Exalted March here. Oh. When offered a chance to lay down their arms and surrender, the Elves they refused. Oh, shit. Uh, Freeman of the Dales? This rebel group. Tell me more about them. They seem to be simple deserters. Tired of fighting and dying for either the Empress or the Grand Duke. Now they want the Dales for their own. Worse, they're more organized than we anticipated. Be wary. What else can you tell me? Scouts have sighted Dalish elves. There must be a clan camped somewhere on the plains. That will be all. Thank you. With the rifts and the undead, the Arlesians have lost ground. Most have been driven back to their forts. We have to stabilize the region, allowing the Imperial Army to reestablish its presence. Good luck, Your Worship. You'll need it. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, I want to check out camp and look around. Do we have any of these to turn in? Rare alloys. Let's turn this in. I didn't even read. Darn it. Alright, book. Reset. No, I don't want that. Invited you. Hold on, guys. Let's see what's up. What's up, buddy? Word for you. What is it? You may want to look into this. Hey, what's up, man? On oh, Dragon Age Inquisition or what? Which one? Yeah, which one are you playing? What DLC are you playing? Which one's that? Oh yeah, but yeah, which uh, DLC is it? Uh, Jaws a hack on, or is it the Trespasser, or what? Did you beat the game yet? Oh yeah, there's no co-op story. There's multiplayer on it, but yeah, you can't co-op in Dragon Age. It's like your team, like the... F yeah, I, w I wish, dude, that would be awesome. That would be fantastic. But yeah, um, the multiplayer has co-op, like, but that's it. But the story is pretty awesome, because you get four people. Off the ramparts. I wonder why. You know what I mean? I was never good at doing it's pretty entertaining that but uh yeah you can do multiplayer like but it's only you you don't get your party in multiplayer and sometimes it's only you if if other people aren't there but it's fun i mean it's good you get different stuff but the game is fantastic yeah 
that's when you that's when you get your castle and you get all the thrones and all that stuff like you leave Haven like your little base and later on in the game you get a massive like massive massive fortress and all your people go there and you collect people from all over the world and uh, you just got like hooked up with a bunch of good stuff because that's the addition you got so when you get to that part of the game you'll have like you'll have a lot of stuff yeah man Um, you can be a Templar, yeah, you can be a shield sword dude, you know what I mean? And eventually, you'll find that armor, or you'll find, like, a heavy armor, and you can put legs on and arms on, but yeah, you can be anything. You can be a two-handed, you can be a sword shield, what? Yeah, yeah, well, no, they can join you, it's either the mages join you, the magic dudes, or the Templars, and you can choose them in the game, which one you join. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, so you like the Templars, so when it comes, join the Templars. And they'll join you, and you'll get dialogue with them, and you'll see them walking around your fort, they'll help you, they'll tell you stuff. The Templar, um, in the, have you played the game yet? I don't want to ruin it, man. There's, well, just like everybody, there's good ones and there's bad ones. But, um, they kind of go corrupt. Okay, they go corrupt, and, um, yeah, they go, yeah, they turn red, and, uh, they go corrupt, and you, there's a big, big, big story about red lyrium and stuff, it's, man, you should play it, you should really play it, it's super fun. You wanna go corrupt, I don't think you can go corrupt, but you can specialize in different fighting styles, you know what I mean, like, you can be a reaver. Or a guardian. You definitely want to be a fighter though, right? Or what do you want to be? One down. What are you going to be? Like magic or fighter? I gotta get close, I don't know what's going on. Oh man. Let's help these guys out right here. Okay, yeah, you can either go two-handed, like big axes, big swords, or a shield and a, like a one-arm weapon, you know what I mean? Cause I'm fighting one with the shield right now. God, he's annoying. Super annoying. He's blocking everything. And it gives you more stats. Like, one big sword is great, you know what I mean? Like a huge axe, but with a sword, you could deck it out with like a bunch of shield and uh, strength and whatever. And on the shield, you can craft it and you get even more stats. It's just badass. And it gives you extra protection. Yeah, so it's really fun. You can either find shit and loot it and put it on. Or what I do is I go collect like mineral, like plants and rocks and shit, and uh, I craft my shit. And it and it gives you more stuff to do when you craft it. You get to like customize it a little bit more. So it's fun, but you got to take the time and run. I mean, it's not hard to like pick up little shit on the path. It's pretty easy. Like the little rocks you need to like craft your armor and metals and shit. That's super easy. Yeah. What's up? At the beginning? I can't hear you, bro. Yeah, at the beginning, you'll you'll meet your team. And all that stuff. I'm trying to find this little thing. And uh, you'll get Varric. You'll get Cass. Varric's a bow. Cass is like a sh sword shield chick, so you should watch. You could actually, dude, you could actually switch between your characters that you pick in your four team. And you can play as them, too. So you can switch out between a mage, a fighter, a bow dude, and a two-handed. And you can just let your guy do his own thing and switch between characters, go back to your guy. It's really fun, and you get multiple people to play with. And they all have dialogue, and they all have weapons, and it's so, it's so fun. 
And then later in the game, everybody's a different specialization. And that's sick. It's a fun game. I love this game. I'm playing it right now, actually. But yeah, I mean, um, in the beginning of the game, Cass will be the sword shield chick. And she dominates, man. Because if you're a mage, that's your... Oh, wow, there's dead people everywhere on my level. Yeah, I'm in the Emerald Graves. There's, like, zombies everywhere. I still have Cassandra in my team. She is awesome. Like, I, she's the only fighter I have in my team right now. And I just send her up there, and she just whoops ass. Like, we just watch her whoop ass. I'm a mage right now, and I stay back here split, uh, flinging spells. But, dude, she's up there whooping ass right now. It's great. Dead. This place is creepy. I love this game. Like, right now, I'm in this place called the Emerald Gate. I'm pretty far into it. Um, but I, I go through every area. You know, like, I collect all of it. And it, it there's zombies and dead people and, like, fires. And it's creepy as shit. It's awesome. <laughs> I think I saw a dragon earlier fly over. It does not look fun. I was just like, ah, oh, crap. I don't think so. Not with the Red Leary. I don't know. I haven't been able to be corrupted. I can be evil as I want. I can be a necromancer. I can like I can kill people, but I don't think I can become. I can become a really bad person. You should try it. You can. You can become bad. You can kill all your prisoners. You can be ass to your companions. You could just be a tyrant in the whole level and just rule everything. And they'll still be your friends. Like they, they, I don't think they'll leave you. You can choose not to take them on your quest. Like, like I don't want you to join my Inquisition, but I don't know why. I always say yes. What do you mean? I should be going. Oh, you get to like raise the dead and do terror shit and you know one of your one of people Dorian is a necromancer I thought he was a blood mage, but he's he can raise the dead and do all sorts of cool shit like when enemies die They get resurrected and come fight for us. I tried killing those guys forever, and then I realized they were my own team What's up, buddy? All right. Indulge me, Sarah. What do you think of when I say demon? Become a what? A dead what? Prime. Magister? Oh yeah, you can. Not help. It's a, it's farther in the game. Accept. Yeah, you can become a necromancer. Oh, or you can become somebody that like magical does the rift Help stuff in the sky, like that's a different magic. Oh, or you could become right. this one mage that has like a an energy sword and it's more like a like a knight mage enchanter dude. And you're like all up in the shit with like a sword. Yeah. Yeah, that's only the mage. And then the fighter class has four other special specializations. And then the rogue has four other specializations. It's crazy. You can play this game like 30 times and not do the same thing twice <laughs> it's awesome I mean it's so much fun you can play on easy you can play it on hard you can change the difficulty if you're big into story like I am I mean you can have massive conversations holy shit I did a video on YouTube and it was like an hour just talking to my companions I ran around my fort talking to everyone I could and I was like damn damn but it's fun you get friends you can fall in love you can have sex with them you can break up uh, they give you quests, like side quests, they ask you for help, they give you different weapons, it's crazy, it is crazy, dude, it's so much fun, I love it, I'm into it, I've played it so many times, I must tend to our fallen, what's happened here, we were trying to retake the, you'll get like unique armor and shit, it's fun man, it's really good, somewhere within these trenches, it started when those free men showed up, Strange lights, like blue fire. It must be magic. But the free men are just deserters from the armies. How could they have managed this? And why? 
I should be going. Alright, I got zombies everywhere. Zombie fucking zombies. Oh. Man, this is just turned into a zombie game right here. Yep. What the? Yeah. To get... You gotta just keep going through the story, you know what I mean? Like, eventually... I don't want to kill the game for you, but you're gonna have a tiny little... Have you started the game yet? Okay, you're in Haven. You're gonna stay there for a while, but then something's gonna happen, and you're gonna have to leave, and that's when you get your massive, massive, massive castle. Like, crazy big fortress, and you can upgrade your castle. Like, you can do stuff to it, like, it's cr it's so much fun. You can, like, you can, like, there's a bar, there's a tavern, it's, it's great. Yeah! Oh my god, yeah, there are, there's three DLCs, or four DLCs after it. I played this game, the, the game, it took me almost, like, seven months straight to play. Like, hardcore, and then the DLCs are massive. There's, I mean, it's never-ending, it's a great series, dude. It's, it's so much fun. I love this game. Where are the zombies? I know there's zombies around here. Okay. No, there's only four DLCs. But it'll give you extra stuff like armor and shit, you know what I mean? Or something in multiplayer. Um, different armors, like dragon armor maybe. Different thrones. You'll get a drag. Yup. You'll get all that shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Zombies. I see them. Oh, uh, it'll tell you, actually, once you hit a level, it'll pop up on your map. And then you can start those. But I recommend doing the game. It doesn't matter, though. I mean, you can do them in the middle of the game and then finish the game. It doesn't matter. Damn, there's zombies everywhere. Cassandra is whooping ass. Fucking shit. I'm not even doing I'm just staying back here slinging magic. Damn. What? The DLCs? Um, start the game, you gotta play it, and then you gotta go... I think you gotta... In order to deal with the DLCs, I think you have to get to the castle. The big castle, you have to get out of Haven. And then right when you do that, it'll pop up on your map. So you gotta get past Haven. Um, yep. Wait, say that again? Yeah, that's... Frostback Mountains might be one of them, yeah. That should be the deep... It should say deep roads. But maybe that's it. I haven't gone there yet, because I'm still dicking around with the game. I've played the DLCs. Holy crap, they're awesome. Oh my fuck, what is happening? Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, all my power just got switched up. Why? Yeah, try it. See what they said. And then there's one called uh oh man, what's the other one called? Jaws of Hack On, which is over there, I think, where you're going. And then the Deep Roads is the Dwarven Cave. That one's awesome. The one you're playing is awesome. Because it's in like a forest area with like a lot of lakes. And the, I think you're over there by the Avar, the barbarian area. That's what you are. Yeah, you're by the barbarians. It's fucking hard. <laughs> Ferelden, yeah. For, oh, you're okay. You're in the Ferelden map. And then the, to the other one, there's another one. Do you have two maps yet? Like one Orle or whatever, and then Ferelden on the other side? Eventually, you get two maps. Like the world gets. Way bigger. Could that be the source of all this? There are so many. This was intentional. But most of the Maybe DLCs are on the right it. side in Ferelden. I don't think any of them are on the left. But yeah, you can start it up like straight up, and it'll say, 
Um, what will it say? It'll say, do you want to just default to the DLC level and say yes? And it'll start you like with normal shit and you'll just start the DLC story. And it should be in like a lot. Of... I don't know. Usually you just kind of go. Oh, have you started a game yet? New game yet? Yeah, I guess so because you haven't beaten it. I don't know. You can try it. Save it. Save it. Save everything before you do it. <laughs> oh, my cat is going crazy. What's up, buddy? Oh, man, I am so lost. It's like the walking dead. I bell. Nice. Yeah, give... Yeah, it'll give, you know, instead of having one weapon like a sword, like a big sword, you can have a sword all statted out and a shield. You know what I mean? It just adds to your shit, so I think it's always fun. It's hard. <laughs> Not hard, but I don't know if I should take Sarah in this. Last words. If this letter reaches you, know that I died and died well in service of the noble Grand Duke. I did not run like the others did when the battle grew too much. I did not lose faith in the Maker. I was courageous till the end. Julian. Are there more undead coming? God, dude. Oh, no. Start deal the DLC. Oh wow, they never even got close to these mines. Something bad happened here. Something bad happened here. the research table and turn this stuff in and as you collect uh, experience from fight people you go back to the table and turn in research stuff and it kind of just gives you experience like you get better at killing that kind of creature you know say no that just means all your answers and decisions in those other games get shoved into this one kind of like the mass effect ones man this place is big oh I see wolves Oh, 
little bastard's coming to get me. Where is it? You can pick your, uh, you know, what your your companions sport as a weapon. Like you can deck them out in anything you want, pretty much. Except the armor. Usually the armor they're stuck in like a light or a medium or a heavy. Is it a Vinter supposed to laugh exactly? Cruel and stupid, like. <laughs> oh no. You're not allowed to laugh like that until you get your magister license. <laughs> Knew it. Varric owes me a sovereign. That's great. And your com your uh, companions have conversations between themselves. That's like the best part. flowers here. Nice. Oh wow, look. Hey, what's up, buddy? Did you do the DLC thing? Oh, it didn't start? Oh, I don't know. I thought you uh, chose it or whatever. Are you doing the game or what are you doing? Oh, okay, tutorial. Yeah, you gotta do the game for a little bit. Yeah. There's a lot of conversation in the beginning of the game. You get to meet all your companions and the story. Yeah, it's really good. so long it's so long I hate yeah this is like part three they put a there was Dragon Age Origins and then Dragon Age 2 and then there's Dragon Age Inquisition which what we're playing and then they're gonna come out with Dragon Age 4 soon well I don't know how soon but it's coming out and it's gonna be in Tevinter fuck yeah Tevinter is like the blood magic they're all magic dudes and it's like royalty and they like to use blood magic just to be like all powerful so and 
Um, I don't know. Hope it's it's this came out in 2014, so it's been four years. So maybe in another year and a, I don't know. I haven't checked on it, but I'm excited. Like it'll be like Dragon Age comes out and then Mass Effect and then Dragon Age Two and then Mass Effect Two and then Dragon Age and then Mass Effect. You know, they do space and then they do like the swords and magic fantasy. I don't know if there's gonna be any more Mass Effect, so I. I like them all, personally. But people have a big problem with the last one. Looks like these guys are helping me. Well, that's rare. Or Legion Tone. There's a button for it. It's, um, I can't remember which one it is, though. Look on your little map on the bottom right of the screen. Or you haven't learned it yet. But it should be like a little, like you do, like a little thing block or you can walk at him with your shield and it will block projectiles holy shit my cat went fucking crazy just now God, this fucking place is big. Man. It's heavily, heavily detailed. Yeah, I played it back in the day when it came out. And all the DLCs. I was doing that in The Witcher 3. Whew. Long, long games. Yeah, I did all the DLCs of that too. That is a... Wow. I've never played any of them, but that is an amazing game. Witcher 3, oh my god. They're both beautiful games. These two... Yeah, I got them all, I think. I got the disc. I went and bought it. Yeah. I went and bought it. I just bought it from the store. Yeah. All my buddies usually buy it online. I usually like it. I like to have the disc. Like a book collection. But, I mean, if you try to sell I try not to sell them. Like, when I was younger, I'd play it and then sell it and then have to go buy it again to play it again. And I know better now. Don't do that. God. So now I just, yeah. I had so many games with the 360, and I was like, okay, it's outdated. I gotta switch to the Xbox One. It's a must. I was late to the game, though. I, I yeah. I was really late. <laughs> Characters. It depends, you know. Dwarves are dwarves. You can um, they're more magic resistance. Humans get a point in the beginning, I think. Canari are the big horn dudes, like the big bull guys. They're pretty big. They're pretty nar nar. Alright, I think I'm going to take a breather, man, and go feed my animals. I, uh, good luck to your game, dude. I'm going to go feed my animals and take a breather. Alright, homie.